Hello, hello and welcome to the Wasteland 3. We are back with Aukki here. Hello. Last episode we had our te technical difficulties. We managed to book out the game. And we actually had to start our uh, game uh, later, uh, last load and it was like 10 minutes ago. So now we have played ourselves back where we left off. And we actually managed to, sa managed to save the cat this time. So Major Tomcat is still with us. Yeah. And now let's yeah. talk to the prisoner and let's not try to book it out. Yes, and let's hope this time the cat doesn't die. Yes. We must keep him alive till the end game. For no reason. Waving at you through the bars of a cell is a pale rail thin man with matted hair and fraying weighted clothes. He gives you a lazy glassy eyed grin. Hey dudes, hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? Hello, we are the Rangers. This is going to be our new headquarters. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. Thank you. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? Well, I, feel my, like, what? I feel like this guy is trying to cheat or lie. Well, uh, we shall see about that. My friend, the Rangers are here to help people. We are here to help Colorado. That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? Well, my friend, that is not something you need to know, I'm sorry, but that is secret information. Oh, we could ask questions from him? Well, oh, I want to so make sure who we are, my friend. Huh? Don't worry, you'll make new friends, I bet, though. You, uh, you seem real friendly and nice, so, hey, what, uh, what? Well, my friend, we would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Oh yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, you could start first by telling me your name. My name? Uh, yeah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Well, he seems to be a little bit confused, my friend. Dickens. Yes. What? <laughs> Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I. I kind of been here for a while. Well, it seems so. Well, how long have you been in here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, if he has been no too long, or clocks in here, he would be know? dead already. Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. Well, how have you been able to survive? You are in a cell without a food or a water. You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here. To how is that on. possible? Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta uh, oh, lift the wall friend. when I'm thirsty. Damn. And, uh, you know what they say I about any dark, poop damp or pee spaces, that's it. man. Mushrooms go there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's, he has had too many mushrooms, my friend. Yeah. yeah I added a little self, <laughs> uh, self-made fertilizer. <laughs> Those mushrooms are growing good. Well, they, they, they must be very tasty mushrooms. So you are telling me that you have been living off of wall water and the mushrooms that you shit and pee on. Yeah, man, yeah. You 
yum, yum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nasty. And uh, bugs. Oh, dear. When they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy <laughs> slurp. That was a good day, man. It must have been your Christmas meal. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. <laughs> Uh, can you tell us about any of the groups that lived here before us? Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda... Kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's... Well, he seems to be having fuzzy. some lady visitors. Mm, can you tell us about the dead guy? Oh, man. That's... <laughs> That's wild, wild stuff. stuff. <laughs> so a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, oh, man. You know, I think it was the... Uh, made it really the hard to sleep, Andy. you know? Yeah, the Andy guy. Yes. Then after a while, the alarm stopped. But that was us. And, uh, yep. Well, you came in. Uh, can you tell us about the tired ice lady? Well, she was... Uh, she was a woman. Dressed all raggedy, but uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> yeah, you are not very good position to talk about clothes. Anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for the company. You know? Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about the smiling woman? I, I would think that you like her more. Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. Oh, sounds nice. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to oh, keep Oh, that's why Some people smiling. she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client. Which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Oh, poor man. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, <laughs> to say that. I think she was in business of something illegal, my friend. Yes. Do we have uh, anything? What do you mean by a little fussy, my friend? You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time. And I eat a lot of mushrooms. can see that you eat a lot of mushrooms. I can't always remember things that happened in the uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, and there was, um, and there was a gentleman bear. Ah, oh, that was a Lip licker. <laughs> the bloody screamers. And, oh, uh, the bloody screamers. And the metal fellers. And the really white guy. And the owl. <coughs> Owl face. Oh, and the six wee men. What the, the hell has this man been burning, my friend? Six wee men. He has been smoking too many mushrooms. But, uh, yes. yeah, hard to remember who came in first and uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me. So, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, my friend, can we ask something else? Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool. So, can you tell me why are you in that cell, my friend? Because, uh, the cell door <laughs> is Oh, no shit, my friend. I could not have guessed that myself. <laughs> ah. He was choking around. Well, but why are you put in the cell in the first place? Man, didn't you like my joke? Eh, it was okay. <laughs> okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend, though, too, man, like, former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he, uh, he conked me on the head, and when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. <laughs> Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. Oh, I see. Uh, can you tell me more precisely what happened to that dead refugee? Refugee, my friend. Refugee, my friend. Oh, uh, didn't, uh, didn't we talk about this already? Yeah, yeah, you told me he came in and that did something with the computer. So a while ago, that dead guy over there okay, came the running same. in here. All... Yeah, then there's this... Big yeah, ass yeah, flat. Yeah. And then after a fine. while, all the alarm stopped, and then, um, well, you came in. Hey, well, we accept, buddy. Well, my friend, there is a little bit problem because I am a doctor and I examined the corpse, and it looks like someone poisoned him. What? That's uh, that was not that's really something my friend. else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him. Man, what a, what a wacky world. Mm, I feel some bullshit here. So, my friend, would you like us to let you out? Oh, man, yes, yes, please. Very much. I'd, uh, I'd really like to get out of here. Really? Wait. We should leave him there for now. And we should go ask the ladies, our lady, about this guy. Well, fine. We shall do it like you. You are not an adventurous guy anyway. I'm <laughs> sorry, my friend, but my partner here said that he, we should leave you for a while now. And we are going to go gather some information. Man, just like everybody else. I'm sorry, I would okay, have left, but my partner well, is like this. I, guess I want to go around. and ask the lady about you. Blah, 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 blah. So I'll get back, my friend. He is my friend now. I wish more folks were like you, Rangers. People are people. And sometimes they need help. That's what the Rangers do, right? Help people? Yeah, Stella. Uh, Dell, I think we found your missing guy, Andy, and I'm sorry to say that he died. Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. Why are these people still scared of us? <laughs> How did he... <laughs> no. I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Oh, we cannot ask her about that guy. That's a shame. Careful yes. out there. It's an uncaring world. Then, do you want to let him go, or what we do? We got, we gotta do. Don't worry. He will be here when we come back. This is our base now, my friend. Well, at least he will survive. Can I use this computer? Let me see. The terminal displays information about the base system. Everything appears normal for the moment. Check the recent activity logs for this terminal. 
You come through the logs, calling agent messages and routine system notifications until you have a list of recent activations. Operating system, wake initiated, wake complete, credentials rejected, credentials accepted, logging admin, password admin. <laughs> that is pretty bad. Bad, you know, looking at the password. Operating system, loading default admin operations, backup generator, initialized. <laughs> Automated security lockdown initiated, locking required, credential rejected, credential rejected, operating system station locking out user due to multiple failed locking attempts. The terminal displays information of blah 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 and it's in normal for the moment. So no help my friend. Yes. But I still wonder how the hell did this guy even die? He what is was it? poisoned by someone who yeah, has first lost Oh, I found a mushroom! Hey, hey we should speak that to that guy again. What's, uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> My friend, we found a half eaten mushroom in the corpse. Maybe he was not able to eat you poopy mushrooms. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors, and they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> well, you should have known, my friend, because you are the one who gave it. Talk him about the logs. Uh, about the logs, my friend. There is a power surge, but there has While been those, many uh, attempts to lock in after. Going off? How'd that happen? This guy is not giving me much information, my friend. Well, I shall ask again. Who was trying to access the computer after the power source? Um, well, that guy, uh, he fell over onto the computer machine after the flash. Maybe he landed on, uh, on the buttons or on the thing with all the little buttons. Or, oh, oh shit, man. Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? A prowler lurking about? That's, um, uh, <laughs> scary, <laughs> scary stuff, stuff, man. Yikes. Hmm. My friend, what do you think about this? I don't know. This guy couldn't leave even if he wanted to. But he is in prison, so I don't know. Are you sure he is Later in prison? Later dudes, and uh, don't forget to think about getting this door open. Yes, I shall let if him If you know. get a chance. Can we check anything else? Oh, yay! Oh, you let Thank him go. God. Yeah, he's my Thank friend. you so much, man. I owe you Can you big, talk to him? Uh, Real big time. Yeah, I bet you do. Remember who let you out, my friend. Bye! See where he goes. Don't follow the poor man. He has suffered enough, my friend. He might be killed by these guards. They won't kill him. He is my friend. See? Still need to talk to you, Rangers. Yes, oh. yes, Sergey. I'm coming, I'm coming. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Oh. It should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Thank you, Corporal. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Well, Sergey, before we get to all the that, I want to ask a few questions for you, if that is okay. 
Of course. Ask away. Oh, he seems a friendly guy. <laughs> Can you and Quan tell us more about yourselves? Uh, well... <laughs> well Sergei won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning, and saved the old man's life about a hundred times, right, Sergei? Oh, it's that so. I'm honored to meet you, Mr. Sergei. 75. Tops. Now, let me tell you about Mr. Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs, or the people that live there, better than dashing Darius Kwan. Well, you sound like a pretty good team. You're yeah. too kind, Sergei. <laughs> so, have you two volunteered for this? Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old in the marshals. And retirement was driving me stir-crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. Oh, thank you. You both seem awful eager to help but a group of unknown outsiders. Why are you really here? It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The Patriarch asked me to keep an eye on you, so... Hey, at least these guys are whole honest. Yes. And I am truly sick of <laughs> retirement. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the Patriarch a favor, too. Okay, at least we are all honor honest here. Uh, what was the deal with the alarms and the robots? Not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago, and it was stone quiet. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. So, how long has this place been abandoned? Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe 10 years back. Before that, all kinds of bandits, militias, and cults have lived here since the deluge. Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. We should check around to see if there are any current occupants. Could be what set off the alarms. <laughs> so what is this deluge? We have been hearing all the time about that, but we have no idea what the hell is that. Yeah. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire, because, well, that's what it was. Okay. Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. Okay. So it means the end of the world, my friend. So what was the corporal saying about putting a combat AI in our vehicle? Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Well, that sounds weird. Well, that's all the questions we have for now. Okay, what's next? Well, I would like to see who you got lined up for us. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Okay. Don't, don't do anything. It's opening the freaking... I know, my friend. Holy shit, how many people here is. Time to recruit. I shall take one more person with my team and then I recruit from the road. So what do we need? Who don't we have? I shall take someone who is mechanic. Uh, it is the first woman named Axle. Should I take another sniper? No. Or three? What the hell, man? What do we need right now? Do we need weird scientists and the inventor? Maybe. Because we might need him later on. 
Yes, my friend. Oh, we can pick three. Yes, but we have to make room if we find people on the road, like he said. Yeah. Well, I shall take the mechanic. Or I could go solo as well, but... Well, we don't know when we find the next person, so let's take now. Yeah. Leave a one group. Uh, Listen, I can get you open. all the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Yes, my friend. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now, you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Well, we kind of surveyed the base already, but it sounds good, my friend. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. Uh, at least I do I almost... You might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. I will impress her, my friend. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Yes, my friend. Thanks for the information. Uh, one sec. What now, Marshal? Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Uh, what do you have to offer for us, my friend? Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the Marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Well, sir, but... Well, I could use the help. Great. I'm at your disposal. Thank you, Marshal. Lead the way. <coughs> he joined you. Yes, my friend. He shall be known as the Marshal of Quan, and this woman shall be known as the Axle. And you <laughs> shall be known as the Shovelman. Oh, my partner is the Shovel. Rangers, Shovel. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you again, Sergey. It's been a while, my friend. If you are going to be our chief of security, we want to know more about you, my friend. Happy to tell you what you need to know. What the hell? So you have been serving the Patriarch for so long, you must like him. I do indeed. Some folks can't get past his brusque ways, but that's just the impatience of a man who knows what's right, dealing with fools who don't. He cares too deeply about the well-being of the people of Colorado to let political courtesy slow him down. Of course, you'll hear a lot of folk condemning him for hurting this group or that group with his decisions, but the way I see it, they should be glad it wasn't them who had to make the choice. Well, thanks for the information. Goodbye for now, my friend. I'll be here. So, my friend Aoki, what are we doing next? Then, should we go talk to the guy or should we continue? Who do you want to talk, my friend? There was this freaking guy who came here. Well, he's gone now, my friend. Oh, he's there. Wait, I'm testing. I shall go talk to the corporal, my friend. I'm gonna check the... Hey, are you nerd? Yes, my friend. I'm um, check these logs. Welcome I to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high-frequency radio equipment all set up. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's arrest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Uh, 
Hey, you could ask about our car uh, that he, when he installed the AI. Uh, my friend, when you installed the car AI, are you an expert or is it gonna blow on our face and are we gonna die? Oh, I'm not. It just turns oh, out artificial intelligence know. isn't that much different from fiddling with radios. Easy enough to install it turned out, but I wouldn't know the first thing about it otherwise. Okay, it's gonna blow on our face, okay. Yes, I know. Uh, what right. can you what can you tell me about your radio equipment? The finest setup you'll find this side of the Rockies. This equipment took years to get together. A lot of it custom work. String and pieces of gum, you know? This is the only setup in Colorado able to communicate on all sorts of frequency bands, up to the HF band. That means we can reach you pretty much no matter where you are in Colorado. The basic Ooh. controls are straightforward. You should try the device yourselves whenever you're here. I've picked up all kinds of signals. It's possible you could even reach Arizona. Uh, uh, Arizona? Mama, I could hear my mommy's voice again. <laughs> it's yeah. been so long. So what do you think about the Patriarch? Are you a spy too? I've worked the radio for some time now, and I hear all kinds of stories from other parts of the world. Horrors you wouldn't believe. Is Colorado perfect? No. But it's a damn sight better than any alternative I've seen. So, how do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Speaking frankly, great. Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the Marshals. It felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. Proud to be a ranger now. He is still answered. Yes, I know this. Well, thank you, Corporal. We shall continue our duties. No, okay, it's not about poop. Anytime. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> there. Are you the computer nerd? Come check these files. I'm coming. But first, Aukki, we shall check this computer. You yes, 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 yes. It's displaying information about the pain system. All seems normal. Examine the security system. The status report indicate all is normal at the moment. An option to displaying all security alerts so as number so long it goes off the right edge of the screen. Investigate the issues with the servitor's behavior. After some searching, you access a hidden menu. The core processor is jammed with a thousand of quiet requests dating back a century. It's wonder the servitors can make any decisions at all. Yes, we should write a script to wipe the request. Yes, I was planning to write it, my friend. Yes. You take little time to test your code before running it, then watch as the stale request disappears. Processing returns to the standard capacity. With the ac accumul accumulated clutter clear, the system shows only few thousand unread messages. Navigating it should be somewhat easier. Alright, should we return or are you going to read the all security logs? I check how many there is. With the... oh yeah. There's nothing, my friend. Oh shit, I pressed... I have returned to the top menu. Step away from the terminal, my friend. Alright, let's go. We have our army. What is in here? Hmm. Interesting, my friend. Where is my I friend Aoki? An old Vyatervan pedestal. The inscription is fading and illegible. I need to yeah, the dog. Spell. Catch Hello, Jody. I found the that dog. Let's go. Later. There's a chicken. Cyborg chicken. Well, that's for this episode, my friends. It was a lot of talking, but now we can maybe get into the action. So, check us out next time when we are back with the Wasteland 3. And bye for now.
Bye.